Okay, I'm about to see my Sephora collection times Olivia Jade palette for the first time. I'm so excited, oh my god. Oh my god. I literally... I can't even believe I get to make this video. I'm literally getting emotional, I'm so excited. No, don't cry, your makeup, don't cry. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Um, hi, <laughs> I need to chill. That's what I need to do, I'll be right back. Take two, we're gonna draw that again. <laughs> hi guys, it's Olivia Jade, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <sighs> You probably know by the title, but I'm like, I'm literally like, I don't even know if you can tell, but I'm like, um, I don't know if you can tell it in my hands, but like my legs and like my arms, everything's shaking because I guess I never thought I would ever make this video in my whole entire life, so it's the most surreal. Stop crying! I can't, I'm just so emotional and like so happy. Today, I get to reveal and announce my... Highlight palette with Sephora collection. I created a palette with Sephora collection. This is Olivia Jade. What? I have chills all over my f arms. I'm just gonna get into it. Uh, so this video today is showing you guys uh, just basically this palette, how I use it, the pigmentation, the swatches, the names, the colors all the info when it goes live, where it goes live, basically everything you need to know. And I actually filmed the whole entire process of me creating this palette. From the very first phone call I got, from going to the Sephora collection headquarters, to uh, meeting and seeing the samples, to making fixes, to literally everything I documented because I wanted it for myself and I knew that when this video came out, it would be so cool to be able to see the whole process and let you guys watch it because I've never done anything like this in my life. Let's just get into the Olivia Jade Time Sephora Collection Bronze and Illuminate Palette. Ah! I'm so excited! Okay, so this is the palette, this is the packaging, it's very bronzy and glowy and you guys know that's my thing. Um, the back has the shade name, so we have Twinkie, Angel Face, Magic, 18, Legal, and YOLO. These are all shades I decided to name after my childhood and just being 18. It's so surreal that I get to do this palette, so I wanted to do something that kind of just reflected my youth. Um, so I guess I'll open the palette so you guys can actually see the, the damn shades because I've been talking about it forever. So it has the same packaging as all the other Sephora highlighters, but the formula in the highlights are actually different. We were really collaborative with the Sephora collection team. I love the original palette because it is like, it's super natural, which I love about it. But I knew when I came out with my first makeup thing ever, my biggest passion in the world, I want it to be something where you see it and you're like, oh shit. A lot of you have been asking me recently, like, are you coming out with a highlight palette? What's going on? Because in a lot of my videos, I've been using this palette, and I link all my products down below, and I just haven't been using this, and everyone's been saying, what's that highlight you're wearing? What's that highlight? And now I finally get to say it's my own. It's my baby. So this is a shade called Twinkie. This is this beautiful pigmented yellow gold you guys are going to see in the swatch. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I called it Twinkie because this is a nickname my older brother Gianni called me when I was a baby because my stomach was literally just looked like I was pregnant at the age of four. I just had like that huge baby belly. And so he called me Twinkie because it looked like I ate Twinkies all day and it's just part of my childhood. So this shade is called Angel Face. It is named after my nickname that my mom has called me growing up. Anytime she sees me, anytime she's talking to me, she's like, hi, Angel Face. So I really wanted to uh, incorporate that. This shade is called Magic. It looks like a white highlight, but what's really cool is once you put it on, it kind of has this undertone of a gold. It's not like gold like this gold, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, like reflective gold, kind of in a mix between like a pinkish, whitish gold. It's stunning. And I called it Magic because it transforms, which is magical. And also, 
When I was growing up, my parents always said I had magic. That was just their thing about me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. It was just like a sweet little thing they always used to tell me when I was younger, like, you're magic, you're magical. Maybe because I was just a freaking weird kid, but they said I was magic, and so I wanted to name that shade magic. This shade is my absolute favorite shade in the whole entire world. It is what I wear constantly in all my videos, the ones you guys have been asking about, and it is called 18. It is my age of when I first heard the news I was creating this palette, when I first really worked on everything, I was 18. I'm 19 now, newly 19 in September. It's a completely new shade. We formulated it all by ourselves, mixing some of my favorite highlighting tones and creating a shade that I haven't seen on the market yet and I'm absolutely in love with it. Again, I'm gonna show all of these on my face. I'm gonna show all of them in the swatches. You're gonna see way more in depth. This bronzy shade is called Legal. Obviously, when you're 18, you're legal to vote. You're an official adult in America. Not legal, we can't like drink wine and stuff, but wine or any alcohol. I'm legal, I'm an adult, I'm 18. So I wanted to call this beautiful chocolatey brown shade legal. I love this. Obviously, it's a little bit dark for me as a bronzer, but I absolutely adore this as a eyeshadow. I use these two shades, Twinkie and Legal, together a lot, and it is so stunning on the eye. I'm going to show you guys that today. And then we also have my final shade called YOLO, which if you've been around for a while, you guys always know I'm like, it's the year of YOLO, just YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. But if you ask all my high school best friends or basically any of my childhood best friends, um, what's my catchphrase? It's probably year of YOLO, so I, I needed to have a YOLO shade in there. So, now for a little bit of information. This palette officially launches on December 26, 2018, the day after Christmas, and it launches online exclusively at Sephora.com or the Sephora app. It might be in a store for a quick minute, maybe one day. Maybe I might be coming to a store soon, I don't really know. I guess you'll just have to keep up with my social media and at SC, which is Sephora Collections social media. Okay, so now for the exciting part, I get to actually get ready. I basically have my makeup done for the day. I didn't do mascara because I do want to show you guys how I use this brown shade and how I use this gold shade on my eyes. It is so easy. And then I'll throw on some mascara at the end. Bella, what do you think I should do? Oh, my favorite. I think I should show. Oh, I love that shade. <laughs> We're obsessed with this. We hit pan on my sample because I was so obsessed and I didn't have the palette yet. We used it all the freaking time. My baby, and it's 18, and I created it when I was 18, and it's my own. I think this one's so special to me because we created a huge mixture of things. With some of the other shades, we only used one mix, but for this, we used like multiple different colors to create this, so I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna be using, <laughs> using, <laughs> this is a Sephora Collection highlight um, brush, and this is from the Beauty Magnet Collection. So I have this whole collection. Um, I absolutely love these brushes. I don't really care what type of brush I put this on with. If I want a lighter look, I use a fan brush. If I want something a little bit more intense, I might use something like a tapered, something more dense. I also am obsessed with using like eye blending brushes, like crease brushes, and like fluffy ones, like really fluffy ones, and that's stunning as well. So we're gonna be using this brush today, but they're all gorgeous. Mm. I don't know, cause I love all three. I love 18, Angel Face, and Magic all on my cheekbones, and I only have two cheekbones, so I don't really know how to go about this. Maybe I'll do one down the bridge of my nose. So we are gonna start with this beautiful, what looks to be white highlighter, but it actually kind of transforms into a gold called Magic. And I'm gonna be using it with this brush that I was just talking about. So I'm just dipping, here we go. See how it's gold? Like this is my summer shade, people. If I don't wanna wear any makeup and I wanna wear, like it looked white and now it's gold. And you can build up the intensity so much. So this is just by one swatch here and then if I do another, like a second layer, you can really just, you know, glow. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay, so that is called Magic. It looks white, but it comes out this beautiful gold. It's good for all skin tones because if you have a dark complexion, it's gonna be a lighter highlight for you. And if you have a light complexion like me, it's really gonna be a gold that's not too intense. So it's kind of a universal shade. I'm obsessed with it. I think you guys are already gonna kinda know what 
18 looks like on my face because I wear it in every video and no one knows. <laughs> so it might look familiar to you, but this is what I've been living in. So I just take, so I'm just gonna take one little right there and then So that is just one layer of this beautiful buttery shade. I mean, it's real intense, guys. It's so perfect if you have fair skin. I'm a little bit tanner right now and I think it still looks beautiful. I'm gonna actually use this Sephora collection brush because it's fluffy and a little bit more precise. Okay, we're just gonna tap in right to that shade. I'm gonna start down the bridge of my nose. Wow, my highlight looks fire. Maybe even up here a little. Oh! Darling. My chin. Let's do this one on my upper lip because I'm just having fun with it now. Really pretty little nose highlight. I even love applying all these shades with my fingers. It's stunning. I also love doing a little Cupid's bow highlight. Make it a little bit more natural. I literally just put that on my lips because I want to be metallic. What? <laughs> I love it. It's like so versatile. Yeah. Do oh my want, god. Do you want a chapstick? A chapstick over that would be beautiful. Putting on a little random chapstick. And we're going to see. That's really pretty. I love that. Just adds to like the whole sun kiss glow effect. I'm so excited for this because even though we're in December, you can never have too much highlight. This is beautiful for holiday parties. If you're going to them for New Year's, you can glow, and then once we're in spring and summer, this will be your palette of the year, I promise. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I actually use this brown shade. I've never tried it as a bronzer because I know it won't match my skin tone, but I'm actually curious for those with darker complexions to let me know how they like it as a bronzer. When we created this, I actually tested it on someone with darker skin, and it actually blended out really beautifully. I'm gonna go in on a Sephora collection pro blending brush just take a little bit of this I'm telling you a little goes a really long way with all of these shades okay so I just take a little bit of this and blend it throughout the crease I want to just show you guys I know I'm talking you through it but I just want to show you how quick this is so that's basically all I do it just blends so seamlessly kind of feather it out a little bit really nice just adds like warmth I'm gonna do that on the other eye. Okay, so that's literally it for the crease. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like my perfect crease shade. And then I love this gold. As you can see, it is real intense, gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take this on my middle finger. This is what I love doing. This is so fun and out there. And it's so fast and it looks like you put effort in. So here we go. Just take any finger and just literally have fun with this shade like and obviously you can keep intensifying it it looks gorgeous with the gold highlight on this side it'll still look gorgeous with this pink highlight um and then what i also love doing is just taking my finger basically just go under my eyes it's super hard with long nails <gasps> yeah i did it just adds like this really pretty gold and then i take a little bit of legal that brown shade and i'm also just kind of smoking out that bottom connecting it to the crease just like that and you just have like this really pretty gold look i actually was going to do this on both eyes but since i'm showing you so much of the palette anyway i think it would actually be kind of fun to show you a pinkish shade so it's not just the gold you can use as eyeshadow if you also have darker skin and you want to use like a lighter pink as an eyeshadow, so it's kind of more of like a light wash of color in your eyes as opposed to like on your face where it just doesn't really match. Okay, I think I'm gonna show you guys maybe 18 on my face or on my eyes just because I love this shade and it's very pigmented. I mean, all of them are pigmented. You see this one. I'm gonna show you guys this peach as a blush in a second. See that? absolutely gorgeous and I like that I just totally matched it like this with this highlight and this with the gold highlight um, and then I'm gonna go back in with that same shade 18 and we are going to we're gonna do the same thing so you can actually see what colors do to your eyes like this makes my eye maybe like a little more smoky and bronzy and this gives me kind of like a cleaner look which I love this palette's so diverse and then I'm just going back in with that brown shade 
doing the same exact thing. The shade right here is this gorgeous rose gold highlight and it's called YOLO. And I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones, like right on the apples. And because it's a highlighter but it's more of a subtle blushy shade, you can really easily bring it up and it blends so beautifully with your highlight because it is formulated as a highlighter but it doesn't add too much extra. So I'm gonna do this on the same side that we put the gold. I don't think I've ever looked this glowy in my life. So I think that pretty much completes my demo of all of the shades. Before we get to the behind the scenes vlog footage of me creating the whole palette and doing basically everything, I documented the whole thing for you guys, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you not only to Sephora Collection for allowing me to be the first influencer they ever collab with, but to all of you guys, this is seriously a dream come true. At the age of 14, when I created my YouTube channel, I literally would have never imagined I'd be sitting here at 19 years old saying I'm coming out with a palette with Sephora and Sephora Collection. I guess this is everything I've ever dreamed of and now I'm like, what's next? I feel like I don't even know what to do. I'm so confident in this palette. I'm just so proud, I'm so proud of it. And don't even know what else to say, but thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy the behind the scenes of me creating this palette. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Monday night, April 9th, 2018. I think by the time you're watching this, it's either 2019 or very close to 2019, but I am throwing it back because today I got the most exciting phone call of my whole entire life, and that is that it is official. I am doing my first ever capsule collection with Sephora collection. I promise to put every single ounce of my being into this project this is a dream come true for me makeup is such a strong passion of mine and i literally vow to you that i will work my absolute hardest to make sure these products are absolutely perfect for you guys and i promise i won't let you down thank you so much and please enjoy sephora collection times olivia jade <laughs> can't believe it <laughs> Today, I am flying to San Francisco. It's my first meeting with Sephora Collection. I'm so excited and nervous and oh, my feelings. Guys, I'm with Ali and Megan. Hi. We're headed up to the meeting with Sephora Collection. I'm very excited and I'll bring you guys through the process. It was really good and successful. Are you happy? Yeah, good. I'm really happy. Good. So I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's happening. I know, that was so weird. I didn't expect so much to happen in the first meeting. I didn't either. That was crazy. Okay, I'm it. really excited for you guys to see. Hi everyone, so today is May 24th, 2018, and I'm about to head to UTA, which is my agency, and work on some Sephora stuff for my palette. Um, I'm really excited because this will be my first time seeing the first draft of the palette, and then after I see the first draft, I can kind of go in, talk about the colors, um, I get to swatch them, which I'm so nervous for. Okay, so, first shade. I'm so nervous. Yeah, wait, that does feel more buttery. I didn't feel this one. Ooh. That one's pretty. Can I take these home? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. They just arrived this morning, so there wasn't enough time to get it to you before the call. Gotcha. I want all of them to feel like when you put your hand in it, it's like more more on the creamy side than like a powder side. Mm -hmm. I also want to see it tested on someone with darker skin to make sure it works for everyone. Okay, so it is Tuesday, May 29th, and I just got this package from Sephora Collection that they sent over for another shade because these ones are both stunning, but they are a little bit similar. I mean, they're different. Like this one, you, know, you can see, as you can probably tell a little bit. I might switch out this rose gold shade for a more peach one, depending on how I like this. Okay, so this is the one we're definitely keeping because it's my favorite shade I wear all the time, and then it's between these two if I want to switch this peach one in. See the difference now? It's so pretty, I just don't know. 
So I just decided to put some makeup on and try out both the colors. So this one is the rose gold and this one's like the peach gold. I think I would wear the rose gold more. This is such a hard decision. They're both really pretty, but yeah, I think I would wear this. Okay, I'm about to see my Sephora collection times Olivia J palette for the first time. I'm so excited, oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> Have you seen it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like this is fake. Like, I feel like I could cry. Is the insert card in there or not? Yeah. 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 This is like straight from... The is this the only one? There are two. Oh my gosh. There are two from me. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my god, the colors. Is, sorry guys, I think we just let it go to sleep. Perfect. That's beautiful. Can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this one, this one's this one you can see. This one you can see. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm speechless. Oh my god. My sister comes into my room every single day and steals my highlighter. And I'm like, and I always tell her, I'm like, get your own. She's like, I can't. <laughs> it's not out yet. <laughs> oh my god, they're perfect. This is crazy. Yeah, what's interesting is like, God. I mean, like our latest top selling. Oh my god, this is the softest thing ever. Mm. That's my palette. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm here at the Sport Collection at Times Olivia Jade palette photo shoot. It's actually my birthday right now, it's September 28th. But you guys won't see this video till probably December. But I'm so excited and I'm going to bring you guys along for the photo shoot today and get all the behind the scenes footage. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, so just finished hair and makeup. Alright, so now we're in the wardrobe trailer. We've got some very like gold. Shoot day! 